Hey guys, welcome back to our Mississippi State Bulldogs Dynasty. Today we've got an intriguing matchup with the Boston College Eagles. They started the season ranked. They beat Wisconsin in their first game 45-30. to And then they went on to lose to Illinois 31-21 and dropped out of the top 25. But they are a pretty good team and they have a rough schedule. Combined opponent record 22-13. and they are ranked 29th in the country right now after that loss to Illinois. And we are ranked 6th in the country. Boston College, 431 yards per game allowed by this defense. But we have Jeff Terry, freshman, redshirt freshman, starting at quarterback. His first career start, and he fumbles it already. And that is not a good start. Not what we wanted to see from Jeff Terry. Third and 14. He's going to have to throw it here. Nobody's getting open, and Terry is sacked. He held on to the ball way too long and probably should have took off with it. Well, this is his first career start after the injury to Todd Joseph last week. Defense now on the field for Mississippi State, and that was Fitzpatrick with the carry. Fourth and six, though. Galloway will have to punt it away. And there's Jeremy Tate at the 14-yard line. And he's going to spin a man out, get past the 30-yard line, out of bounds at the 35. Nice return there from the junior corner. First and 10, Bryson Davis will get stuffed for a loss of two. And this defense is just keying in on the running backs. They do not believe Terry can throw the ball. And here's Kenny Harding up the gut for four or five yards right up the middle. You can hear the thunder crashing down. It is pouring out here in Starkville. Third and eight. Terry's going to have to throw it again here, and he is sacked once again. He gets dropped for a loss of five. That is the second sack for this Eagle defense, and they are playing very stingy right now. Palmer looking to throw it. Goes right side, and a nice diving catch by Griffin. Just lays out for it. First down for Boston College. And on first down, they'll get off to the big fullback, Spence, and he'll pick up four yards before George Tyler brings him down. Third and six, play action from Palmer. Bullet pass to Griffin to the 46-yard line. And Jeremy Tate has injured his elbow on the play, but he will return later on in the ballgame. Fitzpatrick gets the carry, finds the opening, gets up to the 38-yard line. Nice run. And... That was about a nine yard carry, so second and one upcoming. Third and one, excuse me. Palmer looking to throw. Evades the defender, throws back left, and overthrows his intended target who had a step on the corner. Fourth and one though, the Eagles will go for it. Palmer fumbles it, and Decker would recover, but it was behind the first down marker. Bulldogs take over on downs. It's Kenny Harding picking up six or seven yards right up the middle. Freshman fullback has been the workhorse for this offense so far in the year. And here he goes again, getting the first down up to midfield. Another nice carry. He's got 17 yards on three carries today. Here's Jeff Terry pitches it out to Bryson Davis. Dangerous pitch. And Davis will pick up about four yards. So second and six upcoming. Terry options. Keeps it to the right side. It was designed to go to the left. And he is taken down one yard shy of the first down. Second quarter now, Harding gets the carry on third and short, and he picks up the first down, taken down by the middle linebacker. Terry looking to throw it, he scrambles right side, pulls up and throws it, and caught and dropped by a 6'6", six 220-pound six, true freshman wide receiver, Kevin Davis. Third and eight, Terry looking to throw it again here, pump fakes. Nobody's getting open, and he is sacked for the third time this game. Unbelievable. Nobody got open, and the offensive line finally collapsed. Terry should have took off. Mike Randall on for the 56-yard field goal attempt, and it is short. He could have got a little more leg on that, but we know his limit is probably around a 53, 54-yarder, and there's George Tyler with a big hit on the wide receiver coming across the middle of the field. Third and eight. Palmer, quick pass to Griffin, who has the first down, and he got rocked. He injured his chest on the play. Third and nine, Palmer. Over the middle, Myers with another first down catch. That's a 10-yard pickup. Michael Galar finally brought him down. Second and 10. Fitzpatrick is rocked in the backfield, 
loss of two. And that was Juco transfer Damon Benson, the defensive tackle, making the big stop in the backfield. Bulldogs fifth in the nation for yards allowed by the defense, only 218 yards per game. Palmer going over the middle. Fitzpatrick has it, but is well short of the first down. But Boston College will send on the offense and go for it on fourth and six. Palmer, right side, caught by Stone on a corner route. And he does pick up the first down. Third and ten later on in the drive. Another first down pickup. This time it's Barrett inside the ten-yard line. First and goal upcoming for the Eagles. Palmer's going to throw it to the middle. Intercepted. That's Jeremy Tate coming back from injury. Gets his first interception on the season. Let's take another look at it. Just cuts right in front of the route. Read the eyes of the quarterback. Bulldogs back on offense. Still looking for something to go right for them today. As Bryson Davis picks up seven yards. They really have not had any kind of spark on offense as Terry is taken down short of the first down. And he has minus seven rushing yards, and that is god-awful for an option quarterback. Palmer throwing right side. Looked like he went past the line of scrimmage, but they say he didn't. And that's a first down pickup for the Eagles. Palmer to the right side again. Fitzpatrick has it, and he fumbles it. And Neil Nelson will recover it for the Mississippi State Bulldogs. Big break there with only a minute and 18 seconds to go here in the first half. It wasn't even that big of a hit on the running back. And I believe that was Michael Galar who forced the fumble. Neil Nelson scoops it up. Bulldogs looking for something to happen here as Terry launches it deep. And it is caught by John Pena, the true junior tight end inside the 10-yard line. When you need a clutch first down or a big play, you look for John Pena. And here is Kenny Harding up the gut down to the two or three yard line. He's got 28 yards on the ground today. Seven seconds to go. Fourth and goal. Kenny Harding up the gut into the end zone. Touchdown MSU. Somebody finally scores in this game. And that'll end the first half. Bulldogs on top seven to nothing here in Starkville. Only 68 yards of offense for the Bulldogs. 121 for BC. But they did have two turnovers. And that has been the difference in the game so far. As the Bulldogs kick it deep into the end zone, and it will be down by Blackman, five yards deep. Second and six for Palmer, and he is sacked and fumbles it. And that was Neil Nelson forcing the fumble on the sack. Third and ten, Palmer going to throw it again here. Over the left side, he had his man open. The receiver had a step on Moreno, just couldn't connect with him. Fourth and ten for the Eagles. They're going to punt it away. Here is Galloway. And he boots it deep to about the 42-yard line. Jeremy Tate back to return. And he gets past the first guy. Gets past the second in the open field. Past the 20. 10-5. Touchdown, MSU. And with that touchdown, it is now going to be 14-0. Just like that. They don't need offense when they have Jeremy Tate returning punts. And it's Palmer with a nice throw out to Myers. His completion percentage is not that great today. But his completed passes have been on the money. Perfect throws, and that pass is dropped. That would have been an easy first down pickup. Eagles will have to punt it away again from their own 44-yard line. Tate back deep to return from his 22. And he will break a tackle and get taken down at the 29-yard line. You almost hold your breath there, hoping he squeezes through there for another touchdown. There's Terry on an option. He'll pick up seven yards. His best run of the day. That'll get him back to zero yards rushing on eight carries. Bulldogs definitely miss Ken Tops in this type of offense as Bryson Davis picks up about 10 yards and a first down right up the middle. He's got 17 yards on four carries today. Second and seven. Terry goes down again. He is dropped for another sack. I believe that is the fourth time this game. Play action from Terry, scrambling left side, throws over the middle. Orlando Webb with a catch at the 31-yard line, makes a defender miss, and spins a guy out of his shoes down the 15-yard line. What a vicious spin move on the cornerback. And we're going to take another look here at the replay. Great agility by the freshman wide receiver. And dives and misses there. And there goes the cornerback's shoes. Falling right off his feet with that spin move. Unbelievable. 
First and ten, Kenny Harding up the gut. He puts it on the turf, and Boston College will dive on it. Costly turnover by the Bulldogs, looking to go up three scores. Instead, the Eagles have it going back the other way. Here's Palmer pitching out to Fitzpatrick, and he'll pick up maybe six yards on the left sideline. Both teams really struggling to keep their offenses going in a consistent manner. And here's Palmer with a nice juke move there, getting taken down one yard shy of the first down. And they're going to go right up the gut here with Fitzpatrick, and he'll get the first down, but he fumbles it. Decker, or Stone, excuse me, recovers it, and still going up to the 33-yard line. Unbelievable recovery and run after the recovery by Stone. Is Palmer looking to throw over the middle. That's Pickett. He'll pick up six yards. Nice play by the slot receiver. Second and four. 45 seconds to go in the third. Palmer wants a quarterback draw. He's got it and more. Neil Nelson chased him down at the 48-yard line of MSU. Second and ten. Scanning the field. Going deep right side. Caught by Pickett down on the 21-yard line. Another nice corner route. And another dime by Palmer. 41 of 86 on the year, 668 yards, six touchdowns, four interceptions. And here he throws another nice pass to pick it inside the 10-yard line. And that'll be a first and goal now. Now in the fourth quarter, play action from Palmer. Into the end zone, touchdown, Boston College. Finally getting in, in the end zone and on the board. 14 to 7 is your score here in Starkville. The Bulldogs have a third and long situation. Terry throwing it right side. John Payne in between three defenders. Another clutch third down conversion from the trusty junior tight end. Second and eight. As Tremaine Young up the gut. He's got the first down, but he coughs it up, and it is recovered by Collins. Boston College gets another huge turnover as they look to tie this ballgame up now with 5.21 to go in the game. And that was a backwards pass from Palmer. Eagles will lose four yards on the play. Third and 14. Palmer forced to throw it, and that is almost picked off by Antoine Finch. The Bulldogs will get the ball back here on a punt. Fourth and 14. Here's Galloway booting it deep to the 28-yard line. Here's Tate, and he muffs it. And he's having a hard time finding it. Finally picks it up and returns it for about 11 yards. So makes something out of nothing. Almost another huge mistake by the Bulldogs. Here's Kenny Harding up the gut. Picks up 17 yards right up the middle. Wasn't touched until he got 15 yards downfield. Terry options. Pitches it back and it is fumbled. Davis will recover it but lose big time yards. Nice play by Collins. Second and 20 after a 10 yard loss credited to Bryson Davis. And here's Terry throwing it deep left side. Caught by Orlando Webb inside the 20, 10. All the way down to the seven yard line. Best game in Orlando Webb's career so far. Not bad for the true freshman right now. A couple big catches this game. And that was the biggest one. Unbelievable throw by Jeff Terry. It was a duck, but he got it out there. Had enough power behind it to get it out to his freshman receiver. Cornerback didn't look like he saw the ball at all, but did make a nice play catching back up to Orlando. Third and goal, Justin Garrett, the backup fullback, gets a carry, and he's taken down after only a one-yard pickup. Bulldogs would send on Mike Randall for a field goal attempt to make it a two-score game, and it is good. 17-7 is the score in Starkville with 2.48 to go in the fourth quarter. And here is Myers wide open. Not sure what happened to the coverage, but he gets it up to the 37-yard line. And Boston College will go no huddle. Myers, four catches, 54 yards, and a touchdown today. Palmer's going to scramble right side. Pump fake, crushed as he throws it, and it's still caught anyway by Stone up to the 42-yard line. And that's his third catch on the day for 35 yards. Unbelievable throw by Palmer with McCray right in his face. Palmer under center, defense adjusting the line. Palmer's going to throw left side wide open as Myers again. Brandon Downing completely whiffed on the tackle attempt, and Myers picks up another first down. Now up to 65 yards, 20 yards after the catch, and probably three first downs for him today. Palmer's going to throw it again. 
Left side caught by Barrett up to the 15-yard line. The Bulldogs do finally get an incomplete pass. Third and 11, here's Fitzpatrick crushed for no gain. Now under two minutes to go. That was Neil Nelson on the stop. And they're going to go no huddle. Fourth and 11. They should have just kicked a field goal here to make it a seven-point game. But Palmer's going to throw it right side. Caught by Stone. And he goes out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Not even close to picking up the first down. Questionable play calling there. And the Bulldogs are going to go play action pass here on first and 10. Jose Jefferson downfield. And he gets a foot in bounds at midfield. What a big time throw from Jeff Terry to Jose Jefferson. What a gutsy call by Ralph Crest, the head coach. Here's Bryson Davis up the gut. He'll pick up six yards before he is met by the safety and dropped. He's only got 21 yards on seven carries today. Third and two, Terry pitches it out to Davis, who's got it. And got the first down and more nice juke move past the 30. Down inside the 25-yard line. The Eagles call their final timeout of the game, and the Bulldogs run out the clock and walk out of here with a victory, 17-7 for the number six Bulldogs over the Boston College Eagles, who now drop to 1-2. and two. Bulldogs 4-0 and oh on the season, and the offense really struggled. Both teams only had 287 yards of offense, 108 yards rushing for the Bulldogs, sacked four times. Two for two on fourth downs today for the Bulldogs. Four total turnovers in the game. Five fumbles by Mississippi State. Six by Boston College. And it was definitely caused by all that rain. Eagles shut out in the first three quarters. Jeff Terry, five of nine, had a pretty decent game. Kenny Harding led the team in rushing with 11 carries, 52 yards, and one touchdown. Bryson Davis had 42 yards despite having three or four runs of minus five yards or less, or more, excuse me. Orlando Webb, two catches, 85 yards. Scott Richard, left tackle, allows two sacks today. Donnie Kramer led the team in tackles with five. Neil Nelson and Brandon Downing have both had four. Three tackles for a loss today. Antoine Finch, Neil Nelson, Damon Benson. No sacks, even though we all saw Neil Nelson get that sack and the forced fumble. Jeremy Tate with an interception and a punt return touchdown today. Six pass deflections, all by different players. Two forced fumbles, Neil Nelson, Brandon Downing. And Neil Nelson also recovered one. Mike Randall, one of two, missed a 56-yarder. Brian Martin, three punts. And a 45.6-yard average, 44.6 net average. Unbelievable. Bernard Moreno did a good job on kick return. Jeremy Tate with that 58-yard touchdown punt return. Take a look at the other top 25 teams. Texas loses a shocker in Ruston, Louisiana to Louisiana Tech 20-10. Unbelievable. Oklahoma beats Illinois 37-17 after Illinois beat Boston College last week. Syracuse rocks Rice 59-14. Wow. South Carolina beats Arkansas State 33-13. UCF still undefeated 5-0, beating Oregon State, who drops to 0-3, 24-14. Texas A&M beats Vanderbilt 54-9. Jake Cutler still struggling at quarterback there. They are 0-4. Colorado beats Washington State 34-9. Ole Miss, our rivals, beat Wyoming 31-11. Boise State beats Purdue 38-24. And BYU beats Cal 35-28. BYU is 4-0. Georgia Tech drops Clemson to 0-4 with a 28-13 win. Nebraska loses a close one to Florida State in Tallahassee, 23-20. Memphis beats Tulane, 34-20 in Louisiana. And Marshall beats Buffalo, 55-6. Unbelievable score there. Georgia beats LSU in Death Valley. Unbelievable game, 39-28. And we take on LSU next week. Tennessee beats Florida, 44-26, I believe that was the score. Ohio State beats USF. Fresno State loses a shocker to North Texas. That was their first win on the year. West, West Virginia cannot beat North Carolina. And Miami destroys Duke 41-10. VTech beats Missouri 38-13. And Auburn beats ECU 42-10. And that rounds out the top 25 games and some conference ball games. Next week, nationally televised game. Mississippi State Bulldogs ranked number four in the country. Take on LSU. I will see you guys next Saturday with that one. Take it easy, guys.